Hello from Kourou and the European Space Center here in French Guiana. We're actually on D-3 for the next Ariane 5 flight, 248. So two days before the rollout of the launcher from the final assembly building to be transferred to the launch zone. My role as the Launch Complex Operational Manager is to plan and to coordinate together with all the operational team all the operations on the launcher, the payloads and the ground installations to be ready in the right configuration as scheduled for the liftoff uh, next Thursday evening. Today we are performing the first part of the pyro arming of the launcher. Both satellites, Eutelsat 7C and T-16 are integrated on the launcher and are waiting well protected under the fairing. Good evening, I am Cyril Ponroy, the mission director for the flight VA-248. The passenger in the upper position, T-16, landed at Felix Sibwe Airport on the 14th of May. It was transferred directly to the S-5C building. As T-16 has a double propulsion system, Xenon and Chemical, the first loading operation with 300 kilos of Xenon was performed the 24th of May. After health checks, the oxidizer and fuel loading operations were performed from the 28th of May to the 4th of June in the S5A building. The flight mating and the adapter was performed on the 5th, D-11, the first day of the Combine Ops schedule. This marks the entry of the final phase of the launch campaign, which started on the uh, 23rd of April with the structural integration of the launcher, followed by the electrical and pneumatic controls in the launcher integration building. After the assembly and functional controls, the launcher was transferred on its launch table to the final assembly building on the 31st of May, where the final preparations of the launcher for the flight, as well as the payload encapsulation and the integration on the launcher were carried out. The passenger in the lower position, Utelsat 7C, arrived at the airport on the 29th of May. It was transferred to the S5C building and then started the electrical checkout test. As Utelsat 7C is a full electric platform and already loaded with 900 kg of xenon, the preparation of the spacecraft lasted only hecht days prior to starting combined ops. The flight meeting of Futelsat 7C and the adapter was done on June the 7th. Then, the day after, the spacecraft was transferred directly from the S5C building to the BAF. The Futelsat 7C satellite was installed on the launch vehicle on the 11th of June, followed by the T16 on the 12th of June as part of the upper composite. The general west rear sword was performed on Friday the 14th and went well. No more activities except battery charging are now scheduled until the launch. Tomorrow, after assessing the actual preparation status, the launcher readiness review shall give us the authorization to transfer to the launch pad on D-1. Once the ground installations and the launcher are then put in a flight configuration, we shall conclude with the final chronology phase before liftoff. Special thank you goes to all the operational teams for their efforts and the contribution to take us through this uh, so far very smooth launch campaign. Thank you for watching.